welcome to EC Electronics. Today's class we are going to discuss about inductor. We are going to discuss the basics of inductor. So inductor is a device which is used for storing energy temporarily in, a, in the form of a magnetic field. That is this inductor temporarily stores energy in the form of magnetic field. So you can think of inductor as a wire wound in the form of a coil around a core. So you can also consider it like a solenoid. A solenoid can be call, called as an inductor. So it stores energy temporarily in a magnetic field. Okay, so let's consider a circuit consisting of an inductor. So here there's a battery. I'm going to call the voltage is V. So there is a resistor and there is a switch and there is a inductor. So when this switch is closed, that is I'm going to close the switch, the current flows through this network. Okay, so this current will pass through this coil or this inductor and when this current flowing through the inductor varies according to time that is the current varies according to time then a magnetic field is generated around the coil or the inductor that is when a time varying current is flowing through this inductor or this solenoid or this coil a magnetic field is generated inside the inductor so this is the direction of flowing of current and the direction of magnetic field is this. So you can denote the magnetic field as B. So what happens is that when a time varying current is flowing through the inductor, a magnetic field is generated. But what happens is that this inductor doesn't want the magnetic field in it to change. So the magnetic field in density as it is increasing due to the time varying current as that is as the magnitude of the time varying current is increasing the magnetic field in density will also get increased and the inductor will try to oppose the change in the current that is due to the change in current is the magnetic field in density vary so what this inductor will do is this inductor will try to oppose the time varying nature of this current so what happens is it generates an electromotive force or a EMF or simply a voltage against this change in current. So that will be in the opposite direction of this voltage or this, this battery is generating a voltage and opposing to this voltage, the inductor generates an electromotive force or an EMF. Okay, so this is actually the working principle of an inductor. So this inductor uh, the property of the inductor is due to the time varying nature of the current. So let the magnetic flux linkage around this coil or this inductor be phi V and let the current be I. The inductance can be denoted using the letter L. So the inductance or L equal to phi B by I. That is the ratio of magnetic flux linkage to current okay so i told what happens due to the uh, increase in the intensity of current an emf is generated i'm going to uh, represent the emf using epsilon emf is equal to minus d phi b by dt that is due to the change in uh, current the magnetic field strengthens and the emf generated is the rate of change of this magnetic flux linkage or phi v. So why there is a negative sign to this my that is d phi by dt. So there is a negative sign to the d phi by dt because this emf or uh, electromotive force is opposing the, the increase in the magnetic field. Due to the increase in the current the magnetic field is also increasing right. So this emf is actually opposing this increase or this change. So there is a negative sign. So uh, you can write phi b as L into I from the equation number 1 and I'm going to uh, replace this that is minus d by dt of L into I. That is epsilon equal to L into minus d I by dt you can write. Now from this L equal to how can you write L from this equation? L equal to epsilon by di by dt. So there is a negative sign again. 
inductance. So inductance is nothing but the rate of this epsilon to the rate of change of that is rate of change of current. That is the ratio of EMF generated to the rate of change of current. So this EMF is actually opposing the change in current. Due to this change in current, the magnetic flux linkage is increasing or the magnetic field strength is increasing. This uh, is opposed by the inductor. So this electromotive force is generated and inductance is the ratio of the electromotive force or the voltage generated to the ratio of change in current. The, the unit of inductance is Henry. And one Henry equal to so from this equation, say this is equation number 2, from this equation number 2, 1 Henry equal to epsilon is electromotive force, that unit is volt. So 1 volt by the unit of current is ampere, 1 ampere by dt is time, that is 1 second. So this is your 1 Henry, which is your unit of inductance. So 1 Henry equal to 1 volt by 1 ampere per second. So that is inductor.